is there life on other planets? Truth of the matter is, we don't know. If somebody had said that science has refuted the notion that there's life on other planets, we would consider that to be a very dogmatic statement. That's because there is the real possibility of life on other planets, and the fact that we haven't found evidence for it doesn't disprove it. The absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Michael Shermer acts as if the fact that we don't know what comes after death proves that it must be that what comes after death is exactly the same as what was there before we were born. That is a huge and dogmatic assumption with no evidence to support it. It is not even a scientific position. It is, in fact, a philosophical position that he is not even bothering to defend because he assumes it agrees with your prejudices. Sean Carroll essentially gave away the whole debate when he came to the earlier premises of, of what science has not proved, and he goes, sure, we don't know why there's a universe. We don't know why we're here. We don't know what's going to come after, but we're proud that we don't know. In other words, we haven't refuted you. We are ignorant as you are, but we're going to claim we win anyway because we at least know we're ignorant. <laughs> now, first of all, first of all, this claim to epistemological modesty is largely bogus. The fact of the matter is that religious people, not all of them, I grant you, you have some self-righteous religious people, but when we say as religious people that we are believers, we are actually confessing to a certain kind of agnosticism. A believer is different than a knower. If I knew something, I wouldn't believe it. I, in other words, I, I believe that there's a place called Papua New Guinea. I trust maps. I've never been there. But I wouldn't say I believe in my brother, because I know the guy. <laughs> so belief falls short of knowledge. Belief acknowledges an element of faith. So the religious person in that sense is at least being epistemologically honest in saying, when it comes to life after death, on the basis of reason alone, I don't know, any more than Sean Carroll does. The difference between Sean Carroll and me is not that he has some data unavailable to me. The difference is that I will at least admit that my position on life after death, affirming it, is based on faith. He, poor atheist, is deluding himself into thinking that his denial of life after death is based on some kind of evidence. He hasn't produced any, he doesn't have any. Now, 